Hello students, I hope you have done with the construction of parabola. In today's lecture, we will be seeing one more question. Please look at the question and understand it belongs to which type of curve. Before going to work, let us look at the question. The distance from the directrix to the focus is 50. It is given that the distance from the directrix to focus is 50. It is also asked draw the curve when E is greater than 1. Hope you are getting that. Also, locate tangent and normal at any point on the curve. It is given here that E is greater than 1. I hope you know that E greater than 1 is for hyperbola curve. Getting dear students? So, as what where the vertex to be located is a question now and it is given that the distance from the directrix to focus is 50. As we discussed in the yesterday's lecture, the di directrix is also called as fixed straight line. Directrix is also called as fixed straight line and the focus is called as fixed point dear students. So, it is given here that the distance from the directrix to the fixed point. Before that what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to draw a directrix C D and the axis A B on the axis we are supposed to locate the focus. Focus is given at a distance of 50. This is given 50. Now, what we are supposed to do as per the definition of eccentricity? We have discussed in the earlier class that eccentricity is nothing but the distance from the vertex to the focus to the top vertex to the directrix. So, vertex to be located somewhere on the axis line. So, where are supposed to locate the vertex? Where E is greater than 1. We are supposed to assume the values which are greater than 1 like 2, 3 by 2 as well as 4 by 3. For today's lecture, suppose E is greater than 3 by E equal to 3 by 2 is asked in the exam instead of E greater than 1. Then also this value holds good for hyperbola curve. But whereas in the question it is given that only E greater than 1. So, we are supposed to take the ratios related to greater than 1. So, I am considering E equal to 3 by 2 for today. So, what you are supposed to do here is you are supposed to add this numerator and denominator so that we are getting what 5. That means we are supposed to divide this A to F line into 5 equal divisions keeping this as 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and including the focus it is nothing but fifth division getting the students. So, for example, you have taken E equals to 2 few students might have taken that. So, considering this as 0, so 1 and 2 only one point will be there the other point is the focus this is how you are supposed to work. Now, as per the definition we know that E equals to 3 by 2 as per the definition. So, V to F is how many divisions? 3 divisions that means from F I need to count. So, this is 0, so this is 1, 2, 3. So, all the time go with V A instead of V F. Why? Because A is already located here. So, this is 0. So, to V A how many divisions dear students? 2. On the second division you are supposed to locate the vertex. So, reading from here this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. So, at this point we are supposed to locate the vertex. This is how you are supposed to work out and later what we have done in order to construct a parabola we have taken V F equals to V E. So, measure this distance and locate this and this is how you are supposed to work out and the remaining all steps are similar to that of the construction of parabola. Let us see how we are supposed to draw with the instruments here. So, this is how you are supposed to fix your drafter and you are supposed to you are supposed to work out the directing line here. Later, you are supposed to draw the axis axis you are supposed to draw the axis. So, once the directric line as well as axis is axis is drawn. So, you are supposed to locate at a distance from the directrix to the from the directrix to the focus is given as 50. So, make sure that you are supposed to mark 50 here. So, this 50 point is nothing but the focus focus. Later as I told here we are supposed to mark the vertex at the second division and these need to be divided into 5 equal divisions only dear students. So, 5 equal divisions can be made very easy 1, 2, 3, 4 as well as on the fifth division. So, where we are supposed to locate the vertex e equal to greater than 1. So, as I have taken equal to 3 by 2 this is 0. So, this is 1 and this is 2. So, at the second division we are supposed to locate the vertex we are supposed to locate the vertex and I am giving naming for this as A and B is the axis 
whereas C and D is the directrix. Later, what we are supposed to do as we have done in the parabola construction, Vf equals to E. How much is the distance for the Vf? 3. I mean 30. So, at 30, draw a perpendicular line to the axis, keeping in view that this is a moving point and that is E. Later, what we have done there, join A to E, join A to E and extend this line further, extending this line further. Getting? Later, what we are supposed to do, we after next to the V upon general construction, locate number of points to the next of V, which need not be of equidistance. You can take equal distance or it is up to you whether you want to take equal distance or any distance from the vertex. So, draw all perpendiculars, they need to be very thin lines. So, in order to draw this, try to use only H pencil or 2 H pencil dear students. So, you can include even the focus into it and it is up to you, I am skipping the focus line here. So, go on draw the set of lines which not need to be of equal distance and let this be 1 and this is 1 dash. So, I am skipping few numbers, this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 3 dash. Hope you are following my lectures and how to write these letters and numbers 4, 5 and this is 6 and this is 6 dash. Please try to locate the numbers and letters only in HB pencil. Then later upon general construction what we are supposed to do here is F as the center, focus as the center from these points where we have located like 1 1 dash is the radius with the compass and go to F and cut above as well as below of the one line where we have taken the marking. Later the next point is 2 as well as 2 dash. So, I am not given the number here. So, you can understand the next point is 2 2 dash. Go to F. F is a center and locate the points P2 and P2 dash. P2 and P2 dash. Hope you are getting. Next, the number of divisions you take dear students, you are going to get a smooth curve. As you take more number of lines very near, you will be getting a very smooth curve. So, that makes us to write, draw the free hand curve. Why? Because these all are free hand curves. Later, the next point is F as a center, 4, 4 dash is the radius, F as a center, so cut the fourth line above as well as below. See here, I have taken many number of points so that we are going to trace a smooth curve here. So, the next this is 5, 5 dash and F as a center, cut above as well as below. Finally, I am going to cut one more uh, to make uh, you uh, understand this. So, 6, 6 dash and F as the center, then cut above as well as below. So, this is how you are supposed to work out the construction of the hyperbola using eccentricity method. Getting dear students, later we are supposed to mark the points from V uh, dots where all these arcs are being intersecting this perpendicular lines which we have drawn from the axis. So, make sure to join them with the dots first and do not draw the uh, line directly. So, that you may be uh, you would be getting the smooth curve later. Once it is done we are supposed to draw with a HB pencil in a single attempt or single stroke the final curve. So, this is what I am going to draw now. I am joining all the points. So, without lifting my hand, so that we are going to get a smooth curve above as well as below. See even below you are supposed to draw all this trace all these points with a HB pencil, so that the curve is a smooth curve. This is how you are supposed to trace the hyperbola curve. Later it is also asked in the question to locate, it also asked in the question to locate uh, tangent and normal at any point on the curve, any point. Sometimes they may be giving distance like 30, 40, but here it is asked any point. So, I am, I am taking here, I am taking here a point. So, this let this point as is M. So, join this point M to F. Same procedure and the concept joining that point to M. It is asked in the question to draw anywhere. So, on the curve I am taking a point to locate the tangent and normal and join M to F and later this is a perpendicular. So, draw the perpendicular to this. So, this point is nothing but T 
and we are supposed to draw the tangent from this. So, a line passing from T and touching M is our tangent. So, with HB pencil, a line passing from T as well as point M is nothing but the tangent and perpendicular for this line, this is a perpendicular. So, we are supposed to draw normal to the curve which is perpendicular to the tangent. So, this is T and T dash is the tangent and N, N dash is the normal to the curve and please do not forget writing all the details like axis and you try to write even the directrix and as I told you are supposed to write the value of E that is E greater than 1 whereas you have considered greater value is nothing but you have considered 3 by 2 which is not given but you have considered 3 by 2 and only one dimension is given here for the to draw the uh, focus please make sure to furnish even the dimension of the focus as where we have taken to draw the tangent and normal anywhere on the curve so you can skip it but whatever the numerical value is given in the problem the question please try to focus on it and you are supposed to furnish the details draw the arrowheads very neat and the value to be written all the time above the dimension line and exactly center of the dimension line only in HB pencil. So, hope you are understanding the concept and all my lectures hope you will be working out and please do not forget to write the construction of hyperbola either above or below this is how you are supposed to trace the curve. Dear students hope you understood this how to draw the uh, construction of hyperbola curve using eccentricity method please do like it share it and do comment in the comment box if you are looking for any other concepts thank you